Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster. Uh, I wanted to do a bit of an in-between game because I have been playing Kingdoms and Castles too much. Or at least I've been uploading Kingdoms and uh, uh, Castles too much. So I wanted to get back and try to make a dueling coaster which um, so I, like, I already uh, started on a bit. I made the entrance, or at least part of the uh, entrance and I already made a large part of the, uh, well, the downfall. I still want. To, I do want to try since it's rather high. Um, I just want to try to like to uh, to go around here and then sort of loop back here and then make them both go in there. The only problem is I uh, have set two um, block breaks here, which I do hope sync up with the rest, since right now they don't do anything. So when I turn on block breaks, I sort of hope that they like they will. Um, what you call it? They will capture the train going from the, uh, of the the train that's coming from the chain and then let the release them at the same time since right now this one releases earlier than this one I will do one playthrough then for, oh wait that's because I clicked the one that's because I clicked the wrong one I need to get used to the ghost train thing <laughs> You can also see that like the right is a little bit earlier than the, than the left. That's what you get with it in the, in the intern. I don't know where my audio is. That might be because I'm on my headphones. I have it the wrong way around. Or my, my, my own headphones are derping again. Which is also an option. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I sort of wanted uh, the right one selected. Yep. Oof. Uh, at least you guys have audio. I, I, I just don't. Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> so let's go up and sit this. Oh, wait. Uh, oh wait, before I do anything, done. Go to this one. Edit it. They should really allow people to sort of click between two coasters because right now making two dueling coasters is a bit annoying since you have to go through every single thing. Or at least allow us to click the arm right there. Let's see, 45, 30, and set this to the longest. Might as well go full man. Like I sort of wanted to make. Um, I don't know what they're called actually. I think it's a zero G roll or something like that. But like I don't know, uh, with a twist, an almost literal twist. So that like this one now goes down, which is at the best point right now. So that when I rotate this the other side. already starts coming out. Yeah, it still sounds like Diana Ross. I'm coming out. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I need to... I haven't played my uh, Planet Coaster in a bit, and it shows. I need to get back into using the uh, controls again. Let's see, this one should be right about there. Okay, now the technically it should go down like that. But since we have a minor problem, like I will give the other side just just a normal one. It's getting annoying. Me. saw that it makes it, then go to the other one, edit it, like there are pro there's probably a better way to do, to do this, but, so it's a regime roll, <laughs> I'm going to try to fit it to the other one, do they even appear, 
Like, do they even? Uh, oh wait, they don't. And uh, let's let's go big backwards. Ah, set backwards. Thank you. Uh, wait, a thirty percent. Perfect. And then uh, block section. And then done. And then go to the other one. Edit. I will go up the way. I will go to this end. Predictable. No, didn't click you. Come on, click here. Thank you. And this will just be drive tires combined with, you guessed it. Was natural that like after one twist you get like another twist. What a twist! Um. Let's see the coaster is testing. Say get done. Hashtag old memes are old. Then what's this one? It's getting repetitive rather quickly. <laughs> and when I'm done with this one, I will. Like any other coaster that I've done to now, the end result will be on my Steam account. So people say, oh, this is a cool coaster, let me have it. You can download it. But I'm done. Might turn into a one or at least two, two parts. So I don't think I can finish like the whole decorating bit in one go. But time will tell. The one thing always with dueling coasters, it's always the... The... Uh, what you call it? You have to sort of make them uh, land in the, like make them finish at the same time. But that sounded oddly sexual. At least that's what I think with dueling coasters. They have to the, the track has to be almost identical, or at least to some extent. One and dive goes into the dive loop over there, which they barely make. And then this one has that zero G roll, which they barely make, which is good. Okay. The other one is actually a bit earlier. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually going to go the, the other way. Will be hard for me later, but for now, I don't care. And to be honest, I find it kind of cool when a coaster rolls by while, while you're waiting. And let's fast forward. Oh, wait, they were off at the I don't care. <laughs> What I'm gonna do now, I think I'm going to make them uh, an animal. Don't know why, but I love the name. Don't know who thought it up, but they deserve a cookie. A wrap around corkscrew. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, 
Let's go for loops. And then put them in a way that they don't interfere. So this was the inclined dive loop left. Then this one, that one, loops left. Wait, that will put them in the same spot. They actually have to be all the way around. And then a 45 degree turn out of that. And let's go up 30 degrees. Back at a 45. Back straight. Like, I do hope that they still have the speed to, uh, well, actually do this part. You know, one of them will actually hire. Auto complete. Ooh, that's actually pretty sweet. Except for the off curve. You know what? That's actually it. Then box sections. Set it to two trains. Let's go to the other one. Add a track. And let's try to do the same thing, but a little different due to the angles. <laughs> oh god, there's a one wicked angle. Side is going to be different. Which still, I hope, is the exit. Oh dear, this is way too weird. But it does give me an idea. Let's see, let's set this to 30 degrees. What's this supposed to be longer? Thank you. One with 15, that's, the, that's really long. Uh, 30. Since two, two of the, for three of those, two of those. Hmm. 90 degree corner. Let's give it a bit more fl flair. I tried to time them right about here, and it ended up being making this too slow. I could probably still edit, like if the block section at the top doesn't help, I'll probably just fix that or something. Which is kind of absurd, but alrighty. What happens if they both start here? A 
okay, the, the right has a little, uh, there's a slight edge over the other. And they both don't, <laughs> and they both don't have to speed to make this. Wonky. Let's smooth that out. I might as well just give it a give it a twist. Wait, let me select this whole end before I add before I add Z twist. Like that. Done. This one. was too big. But I can't make it smaller. So that, that's, um, that sucks. It's being stupid. But let's try it anyways. To make this bend shorter. A bit, more, a bit less speed. Things work. And if I do this, it will probably make it. Technically means that I still have to add like some bendy bit, <laughs> a bendy bit, and uh, like some bendy parts and make them uh, arrive at least somewhat at the same time. From the main question, will it help? Oh, my glob. Perfect. I'm still going to edit this bit. Change it to the drive tires. And then. Looks like all I think I will edit on both. So I'm going to let them run. Let's see, where was my entrance? Right there. So instead of the path going this way, it actually should go this way. Well, this is more <laughs> for me, since you guys can figure out the path yourself. Stuck. Stupid thing. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so if you're in the bottom one, you win. <laughs> And I don't know what's waiting for right now. Could it be because I, I set it to three cards? Wait, let's set it to two. And test again. I just even remove the block breaks at the top. That's it. That's it. Both the green. Poof. Okay, let's decorate the sh the want to say the shit out of it. Let's first work a bit more on the overall uh, aesthetic. I need to find. Never mind. Don't need to find anymore. Timed. I forgot to click away some things, but um, that was really well timed. No one else to say what the and then. Ding. As far as I can see, close to white. There a hit. Oh great, I have a ceiling that I cannot Stand for a wonky ceiling gun. Walls. Okay, that's the right one. There is one that. Same on this end. The lower one that fits right there. And there. Uh, sort of hoped. So when I click this one, that kept the the height. Ooh, both have visitors. Okay, that's nice. It is a good thing. Both of both of the coasters are uh, are loved. Although I think the top one a bit more than the bottom one. So this line is full, and that one is getting there. Let's see testing. Oh, hold on. The right, the bottom one is actually a bit more extreme than the left one, or at least a bit more normal. But they're still both popular, so that's a good thing. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Scenery. Now that <laughs> that's one of my weak points. Um, okay, that's a good, good filter. Uh, let's go for Alpine. Fresh Park. At least 
delicious, delicious, whatever you call it. Property doesn't have to be triggerable and it has to be a bit western y. You know what? I think I don't think. Let's keep the western out of there then. variation to it. Even though it's the same tree. A high one. A small one. I love that it can be hacked. From a little one. more of a sort of natural uh, like theming isn't my strongest point so I tend to make coasters that are a bit neutral theme wise which has a few plus points since you can pretty much place these coasters anywhere Let's place. I'm a fan of green. Okay, um, I do. I'm tempted to, to, to do to, um, to do to, <laughs> uh, to add stuff from the western uh, stuff. Oh, all the coaster doors. Ah, oh, they're they're too wide. Oh, these, oh yeah, I, f I forgot these all turn. Although you, you won't really see anything of it. Again, you won't really see these from the back of the or at least from the uh, from the start, at least in the coaster itself, but I can make like a bubble rock over here. And then make uh, wait, I could replace this one for a button. You can really turn around with these. I 
Although, to be honest, if I were to make this uh, like as a whole park, I would actually just make a train ride go through here. Wait, I could. <laughs> I forgot you can have multiple posters. Well, multiple things. In a line. Okay, this is going to be a really big... A really big part. And... To be honest, I'll grab the green one because I'm a really, really big fan of green. This line is for the. Uh, it's, I think, too long to do this. What? Okay, just gonna do it. And yes, I saw that the coaster broke down, but that doesn't really matter for this. I'm going to um, pretty much put it. I will lead this to the end. Uh, at least I will lead this to the beginning. In the next part, I will, by the way, also um, decorate everything. But what I want to say more is that the um, uh, what you call it? If you really want to, you can add like your own uh, track to this. I will put this down. With triggerable, uh, with a few triggerable, triggerable e events to it. But you could pretty much. Let me set this right. You could pretty much break off the track somewhere over here and then put like your own little uh, thing on it. These are very easy to build. Um, that's it for this episode. I'm, I'm a bit over time. Like, with Planet Coast, I like to keep it a little bit under uh, half an hour, although I'm a little bit over now. Uh, next episode, we will start building a, um, like, a, a house on this, and we will start theming, like, between the coaster. There are a few openings that I sort of want to abuse. Might even relay the track to go more like this, and then around, and then sort of go, um, between here and that. Yeah, that's going to be for the next one. I'm going to relay the track ever so slightly. But to sort of theme this area around it. And again, this will be up for the uh, download on the Steam thing. And like, I think I'm under the pieces. Yeah, I can still save it. So even though there's a train, I can still save the selection. I will make like a little house under here and I will leave this open for people. If I will, won't theme this circle. So that people can uh, break up this track and add it, if it sort of make their own whole thing in the whole park. Might even, I might even make a whole park with this coaster. <laughs> oh well, I want to thank you guys for watching. And leave a like on this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Tot ziens!